everyone. I'm Scott Perry. I'm your host. And this is Let's Talk Hawaii. I'm live from Honolulu, Hawaii today. And this program is about English pronunciation, communication, and interesting things and people in Hawaii. You can see me here every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Hawaii time, 9 a.m. Thursday, Japan. Today's topic is creating your English. In addition, you can also find me at scottperryacademy.com. And today's topic is creating your English. Um, you actually know more than you think you know. Interesting concept, creating English does not actually sound like a good idea to do, especially when English is not your first language. あの、doesn't sound like a good idea, but it actually is okay to do, especially for practicing. So, <clears throat> today I'm going to talk about a book that I made, that I wrote several years ago. I've got a copy here. I've, actually, I've got a, a picture of the book. It's called Scrambled Egg English. And it's kind of funny. It, it came by accident. And um, it, came, it came when I was a teacher in Japan. この本を考えました。本じゃなくてコンセプトですね。コンセプトはあのスクランブルイングリッシュ。だからスクランブルズ英語をしました。Here's a copy here. This is the actual book. 15 years after the concept. だから15年の後にこの本を作りました。あの、昔、え、1991年ぐらいに、92年ぐらいです。あの、I uh, uh, was in Japan, Nihonにいて, I was in Kumagaya. And uh if you see the movie, you know what I mean. But I was in Kumagaya, Japan, and I was teaching adults and children in English on Toki. あの、they were shogakse. Just learning English ですね. ばっかり And I was teaching them things about words and putting words together. Their vocabulary is limited. So, well, just can't start talking. So I one day decided to draw an egg on the board. And inside of the egg I wrote several words. Just basic words, I, like, cake, you, do, and ぐちゃぐちゃにしました. Tamago, inu, neko, taka, taberu, i, toka, ano, sobu, toka, nandemo. Kantan na basic words. Zetai wakai kodomo ga wakarimashita. Wakata, wakata koto desu ne. De, I said, mina san, eh, kono naka no, この単語、この単語の中の単語でできるだけあの文章を作ります。Write as many sentences as you can. And they said, okay. Got their pencils, paper, and they started to write. Mm -hmm. They did understand some basic English, もちろん they learned in school, but they were basically 
writing the same sentence. I like candy. I eat pizza. You like pizza. Very basic sentence. あたり前。なぜかっていうのはそういう言葉が、えー、学校で教わったんです。So the teacher maybe had written something, and that's what they knew. They were basically limited. 面白いポイントは、皆さんが大体5 sentences を作りました。それだけです。で、1人が2人が、まあ、全然間違ってない文章を書いたかもしれないけど、えー、他の皆さんが、まあ、4、5人のクラスで、小さいクラスで、They wrote their sentences about the same. 大体同じ文章ですよ。それはちょっとまあ、あ,あ、OK。なんでみんな同じこと考えてるんだろう。でもやっぱり、That's what they knew because that's what they were taught. They said, もっと書いてください。もっと書けて。More, more sentences. Write more. I had a question mark. I had a exclamation point. Period. S. Boy, boys, とか S つけられることもありました。文字もありました。で、they started to try to write more. And、um, they experimented and wrote. 自信持ってないで書きました。But eventually, they realized, 気がついたのは、いっぱい書ける。なんか完璧な文章しか考えてない皆さんが。They only thought perfect sentences.I like pizza. まるしか考えてない。And to understand, you would actually need to see one of these eggs, which I will show you a little bit later. But, これわかるためになんか卵を見ないと、あの、なんとかわからないんだけど、very interesting.、Um, after About one month, my kids, 学校の生徒たちが、えー、もう一つの単語で、あ卵で、thirty or forty, even fifty sentences を書きました。最初に five sentences しか。でも全く同じ似てるような単語で、あ卵で、fifty sentences。まあ、2分間とか3分間の間に、50文章を書けた。えぇ、ー、うん。It was very interesting.Actually, right now, I will take a moment to show you、um, my, my third slide, which is a picture of an egg.Yes.Here you can see an egg, and it has a few words in there. ぐちゃぐちゃ。I eat pizza always to drink. The drinks and Bob. And question mark, exclamation point. <clears throat> that sentence is,、uh, I mean, that egg is just basic words, but the kids could see only the basic ideas. If I could have that up one more time,、um, for example, I like. Pizza. Bob eats pizza always. Those sentences, 簡単に考えられたんだけど but a sentence such as Bob drinks pizza, 誰も想像できない Bob drinks pizza. で it's not a common sense, なんか,なんか当たり前の文章だじゃないから想像できなかった。でも、文法的には正しい。Grammar, grammatically, it's correct. Bob, it's not a good thing. So, so, なんか、doesn't sound like a good idea. But Bob drinks pizza? Sounds strange. And,、uh, but Bob drinks pizza is one sentence. It's possible. できること。子供が、oh, okay. So, if it's possible, I can write it. できるなら書きます。Bob drinks pizza with a question mark. 
アイディアが違う。質問です。Bob drinks pizza? And Bob drinks pizza が違う。Two different sentences. Two different things you can say. So, あのそのコンセプトが分かってたら、Bob is pizza. Pizza drinks Bob. Wow! Very crazy な文章なんだけど、Pizza drinks Bob? How is that possible? It's not possible. Possible is not the point. The point is grammatically correct. 文法的に合ってる。できる、本当にできることじゃなくて、文法的に合ってるかどうか。So, Pizza drinks Bob. Hmm. Okay, so, 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 They would、uh, play with English and write. これは Yes. これは Yeah. Bob's pizza? Pizza is Bob. Yes. The, after a few weeks, I taught them. Now just change one word. まあみんなさんがなんか eight words there, seven or eight words there, 40 or 50 sentences. Now I have another slide. Fourth slide to show you what is actually possible. Now, here we're looking at 52 through 60. Just over 75 sentences. I always eat Bob's pizza. I always drink Bob's pizza. I always eat Bob's pizza.、Um, pizza eats Bob. Pizza eats Bob. You know, I don't know. Pizza drinks Bob. There's actually many sentences or things that can be said grammatically correct. And when the kids realized this, it was more lights went on, make a wow. Almost nothing they could not say. They started to. Substitute words. I said, here, ice cream, you know, oh my gosh. Now they could write another 20 sentences. If I put does not, another 10 sentences. So actually, they knew more than they thought they knew once they were able to open their ideas. Now, because they were taught this inside of the box. Technique in Japan, the education system there, they had a limitation. They could only say what they saw. But this scrambled egg kind of opened their ideas, opened their mind to create more. We're going to come up on a short break, and after that, I'm going to tell you a very interesting story about when I mixed my young kids with my adult class. Very interesting. We'll be right back after these short messages. Hi, I am Yukari Kunisue, host of Konnichiwa Hawaii, Think Tech Hawaii's Japanese program, broadcasting every Monday from 2 p.m. I usually invite a guest in Japanese language community who does interesting things, and I'd like to share stories with you guys. Please tune in and listen to Konnichiwa Hawaii. I'm Duration. I'm the host of Finding Our Future on Think Tech Hawaii. Think Tech Hawaii needs you. Please help us in our fall fund drive. Every dollar sustains us. Go to thinktechhawaii.com and click on the donate button. Or send your check to Think Tech Hawaii, 900 Fort Street Mall, Suite 888, Honolulu 96813. Your donation is tax deductible and deeply appreciated. Thank you. Welcome back. My name is Scott Perry and I'm your host of Let's Talk Hawaii. We were just talking about my book called The Scrambled Egg, an English concept that I created about 
almost 20 years ago. I published this book about six or seven years ago, maybe 15 years after I created the concept. And it's a very um, interesting book. It was basically displayed as a book for children, but actually it's a book that can be used by adults as well. And uh, it's a concept that can be used by adults as well. Now, before the break, I was talking about how I was teaching, how this concept came about, and how I was teaching children um, how to expand their English and their, and their English thinking, and showing them that they actually learned more, or actually knew more, than they thought they did. And before the break, I was mentioning how I had a group of children, and I mix them with my adult group. So one day, I, have a, I had a school in Japan, and the school had about, about a good number of people, about uh, close to 400, 400 students. And one day I was teaching a, a young kids group, and in another room there was an adult group, different teachers. The adults were uh, insurance salespeople, bank executives, construction housewives, all kinds of different people, adults, professionals, etc. So they're doing adult English uh, communication, conversation class, pronunciation, Janaik at all. They were doing basic conversation, Ariwa, general conversation. They could actually all speak English. And they were adults. So I had a long conference room table, and I brought my kids in, put them on this side, five kids, lined them up. Enji, Mayumi, uh, I don't remember their names, all of them, but they were uh, great. And I had the adults, Mr. Suzuki, Mrs. Honda, Mr. Or Takamura, and they were on this side, and they had their suits on, and they had just finished you know, work or whatever. And I had the board behind me. Right now, I have Honolulu behind me, but at that time, it was a whiteboard. Drew an egg, put eight words in. I don't know. Could have been such. Let me look here. Words such as. Uh, watch, never, TV, Monday, Mark, usually, uh, always. So whatever concept, whatever Boompo taking a point I wanted to teach, I didn't have to teach. I just added it, and they figured out how to use it. So actually, they were learning grammar without me teaching them grammar. And they learned it kind of organically or naturally. I didn't make them memorize a sentence. I just put it in the egg and let them explore with that word. Eventually, they found where it goes and how it connects to other words. All they needed to do was change a word. Bob drinks pizza. No, Bob drinks milk. Bob drinks juice. Juice drinks Bob? No. Um, Bob drinks milkshakes, or whatever it is. Just by changing a word or introducing a word, they created their own grammar structure naturally. So it was not memorized. It was learned and felt. I guess that's the best word. They could actually feel that word, and they understood it. Now, I, I wrote this egg on the board, and I said, we're going to have a competition. You all have two minutes to write as many sentences as you can. Um, go quickly, and I said, sentences, or things you can say 
in English. Write as many things you can say it in English. So the kids are just, they're not listening to me. They're just kind of looking at the board. And they were like, they were actually creating their English before I started. So they were focused all on the board. They're looking at the board going, okay, they're writing with their fingers. And the adults are just listening to me. I said, okay, ready? Go. And grab their pens, pens, pencils, whatever. And the adults start writing. I'm an adult. I, I'm a top salesperson. So he's writing. I've been studying English for 30 years, whatever. And he's writing. One, two, same pace with the kids. Kids are like writing too. Everybody's writing. Three, four, sentence. Fourth sentence gets slow. The other adults, now one, one person had like a 880 toic. He had hundreds of words, vocabulary, but he stopped at about eight sentences. The adults are looking around at each other. Ah, no looking, no looking. I had to remind them. But the kids were going nonstop. Pen never stopped. They just kept writing. The adults are, what? Don't look at their words. Basically, when it was over, after two minutes, Kodomo's limitation was how fast they could write. That's it. Because they had only two minutes. Had they had more time, they could have written more English. So they're only, you know, they were young. But the adults, Six sentences. That's all they wrote. They had been studying English for 20 years. But they wrote six sentences on average. The top was nine, or eight or nine. And second omoshiroi point, they wrote the same sentences. Creative sentence. No one wrote. A couple people wrote wrong sentences. Bob Pizza. No. So that was very eye opening. They all went to school in different parts of the country. They all had various high levels of English, but when I wrote eight words in an egg, they could only write six sentences. And I've reproduced this many times, same results, six or seven sentences, 20 years ago, 20 years later, same. And I realized, wow, Everyone learned the same way, the same thing, and knew about the same amount of information. And my kids were done. They put their pens down. Stop. Adults were already stopped. After 30 seconds, they were done. They were changing words or fixing those six sentences. My kids were on 38, 39, 27, 40. They had to, not, not 40, about 37, 38. No one got to 40, I don't think. Not that time. But they had six times more than the adults. And the adults were amazed. Like, you're younger. I mean, you're a kid. How did you write more than me? I'm a, I'm a teacher, whatever. But the interesting point was, they knew how to think in English. They started to create their own English. And they had many interesting concepts, funny concepts. Um, but the adults all wrote the same perfect sentences. Once I explained the idea, explosion again. Ah, oh, I understand. I can just change the order. Doesn't need to make sense. Bob can drink pizza. Pizza can drink Bob. And then they got the idea. 
Very interesting point. In Japan, um, there's often, you know, foreigners come, and I noticed that if you ask a question to a group of young kids, at least when I was there, they would huddle up together and create an answer together. Like, excuse me, where's the post office? And they would get together and they would make a sentence. Go straight to the post office. They would, okay, okay, good, good, good. Waiting for the perfect sentence. Everybody correct? And then one person would speak 40 seconds later. My student would say, straight, and then turn right. Done. That was enough. And um, other kids would, that's all you need to say? Yes, so did that get this. So basically, what my, I don't know what happened to them. That was, they're now probably mid 30s with their own kids. And, uh, but I do know that all of them were superstars in junior high school in English. They could think way more than their peers. So when I created the book, I realized if someone used it, they understood the concept like you do now, they could do so much more. And uh, it's, it's definitely proven. When you know how to think without the limitation, you can create English and just change words. And basically, that's kind of how I learned Japanese, I think. Now, <clears throat> wrapping up here, and um, I'm coming out with a 2.0 version of this book probably sometime next year, I'm working with some people in Japan now. And the 2.0 version will be business tiki, traveling, once you understand that, you can learn 10% and speak 10 times that. That's really interesting. And I'm also coming to Japan. I'll be heading back to Japan in November. I'll be doing some workshops and seminars there. So if you're interested, you can see them on my website at perryacademy.com. And um, that's it. You actually know more than you thought you knew. Um, one more thing I have. I have, a, I have a second slide here. I'll show you real quick. It's a, um, <clears throat> a picture of scrambled egg notebook. So you could write your sentences there. And there are cards. With these cards, you lay them out on the table and start making sentences. It's color coordinated. Very interesting concept. Uh, I actually don't have a copy with me, but it's a great thing. All right. Well, thank you for your time. And I look forward to meeting you in two weeks today. Have a great day.